Hello, I'm Ben from Community Sports Network, and today I'm going to tell you why it's important to warm up before you work out. It's important to warm up before you work out because it will reduce the risk of injury during your workout and also it will prime your muscles and your tendons to give you a better workout in the end. So when you start warming up, it's important that you first do a light pulse freezer to get your heart rate up. So let's go. So after doing your pulse razor, it's important that you get some stretches in. So from starting from the bottom of your body and working your way up all the way to your neck from your ankles. So you start off by stretching your ankles. Just roll your ankles around. And make sure they're fully warmed up before you do anything so as you don't sprain your ankle. And then move on to a calf stretch. So put your back leg out straight and keep your heel on the floor and push forward, making sure to keep that heel on the floor. You should feel a stretch up the back of your leg. And just do it with both legs. And then move on to your hamstrings. So you put the back foot at a slight angle and your front foot straight, lean down on the back leg. And you should feel a stretch up the back of your hamstring. And you can even lift your foot up at the front to feel it more on your knee. move on to stretching our quads. So simply just bring your foot back up behind and if you need to grab onto something to balance, just do that. And just drive your hips forward and keep your legs straight. You should feel a stretch at the front of your quads. Now we're gonna do some upper body stretches. You can start by rolling your shoulders back to loosen up your shoulder joints. So roll them back in circles and forward until they feel like they're warmed up. And second of all, you can bring your arm across your body and put your other arm up and drive it back to stretch your rear delts and your upper back, your shoulders. You should feel the stretch coming along here. Do some stretches for your triceps by bringing your hand from behind your shoulder blades in between them and pushing down with your other hand and you should feel a stretch up the back. And then lastly you can go on and roll your neck just to make sure your neck is nice and warmed up so you don't injure it. Here's an example of some dynamic stretches that you can do and work in to your warm up. So we'll start with walking lunges. So you want to stand in the spot where you have some room in front of you and step it in front. Not too far, just so you can get your knees down at about an 80 degree angle. And you feel a stretch in your legs and in your hips as well. And just do a few reps of these. Another example of some dynamic stretches you can do are opening and closing the gates. So this is to stretch your groin area and your abductors and adductors to make sure you don't tear muscle. So opening and closing the gates, coming up and around with your legs. And you should be to stretch up the back here and in your groin area. And open the gates in and out like this. And you should feel it stretching throughout the movement, mainly at the top right here. Another dynamic stretch you can add to your warm up could be sumos. So just find a space and you're squatting down, and coming around and just moving forward in that space. This is the stretch mainly your hips, your groin and just your overall legs to prime yourself for your workout. So make sure you always warm up before you work out so you don't get injured and you get a better workout in. Enjoy.